Hey guys, this is Sagar and today I'm gonna show you a fix for reboot and select proper boot device or insert boot media in selected boot device and press a key. Okay, so uh, this problem started when I inserted my new internal 2db hard disk and when I thought about it, I thought that I guess the, the primary one and the secondary hard disk would have changed. So it's quite easy. The fix is temporary but it'll, it'll do the trick. I mean you could use a computer once again but the problem may co come up again so what you guys have to do is okay first you guys have to reboot your PC so I'm doing that okay right so now so once your PC has started you have to go into the boot menu so I'm pressing my delete button and now it's going into the boot menu just a second there and there we go okay so now once we are into the bio setup or the boot menu what you gotta do is you just have to go into the boot option and from the boot you guys have to go into hard disk drives now you can see that my new hard disk is which is this ST2000 and my my primary one which was that 500 GB one was ST35 so what would have happened is these bo these both would have interchanged so the hard disk wouldn't have any windows to load up so what I gotta do is just press enter and then change it with HD ST35032 something okay so once you have done it press escape and then press boot device priority so now what you gotta do is you have to press enter here you have to press enter here and then this menu will open up now you have to just select the hard disk which is the HDD and press enter and put the second one which has come as floppy drive you have to change it on second actually it will not change anything but still it's better so now once you have done it you have set your primary hard disk as your boot boot device and now your computer will work properly I checked on the net and 90% of the guys don't even know what the hell this thing is so I thought of giving this video as to those guys who are just you know anyways just leave it okay now just press F10 or any button which in your bio setup would just reboot would just save and reboot okay so now save configuration changes and exit I'm pressing enter okay now the windows rebooting and now it will work properly you can just see that see there we go so thank you guys I hope you would have enjoyed this video I guess so because I don't think there's another fix on the internet for this but still okay, so I hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe and please ask comment or message me for any type of video you want because I actually don't know which videos to upload because I even don't know which what problem do you guys have okay so please comment subscribe like this video it will sure encourage me to do on the next ones thank you